Welcome back. Today we are going to make Swedish breakfast buns. I eat these for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever I want some sort of roll-like material. They really treat my blood sugar like super good, so I wanted to share them with you. You're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You will need three-fourths of a cup of almond flour, one tablespoon whole flax seeds, one tablespoon sunflower seeds shelled, two tablespoons of psyllium husk powder, which you can get off of Amazon real easy. Look for the extra fine ground psyllium husk powder though, it, it mixes really well. Then you'll need one teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon salt, two tablespoons olive oil, an extra virgin or a light flavor uh, oil, two eggs, and half a cup of sour cream or creme fraiche. I'm using sour cream. Now I've already I don't, I don't like the nuts in mine, the seeds, so I actually use an extra two tablespoons of the psyllium husk and I put that in a large bowl along with the almond flour and the baking powder and salt. Then in a smaller bowl, we are going to crack two large eggs, This is a really easy recipe. I make it at least once a week. And then instead of olive oil, of course, I'm using my MCT oil. Two tablespoons. And then you're going to add in the sour cream to your liquids. There we go. And just whisk that together. There it is. You will have this pretty much ready to go before your oven's probably preheated. It's that easy and that quick. Okay. Once that's thoroughly mixed, you're going to mix the liquid and your dry ingredients together. I will take my rubber spatula and I'll make sure there aren't any lumps with the almond flour before I do this. There we go and just make sure everything's well mixed and then I'll add my liquid. And now it's going to be pretty soupy. So you're going to stir this all together thoroughly, and it'll thicken up. And this recipe makes four servings, so a lot of times I will actually double it. Alright. Now that's mixed together. What you're going to do is let it sit for five minutes to really come together. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, it's been five minutes. And as you can see, we have an actual dough that we can form. So what you're gonna do next is split that into four sections. And on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper to help prevent sticking, you're just going to mold your buns. I normally will actually make these pretty flat for myself, but if you want something a little more, something you can slice in half, yeah, you're going to want to have them little bit more floofy looking. They don't really rise so you have to mold them that way. Now while we're doing this I'll tell you about the nutritional information. For the original recipe as is it has 310 calories per roll. It has 9 grams of carbohydrate total. What is that? 4 grams of fiber. 27 grams of fat, 
9 grams of protein. So once again, we got a lot of protein, we got fiber, we got fat. That'll help keep you full throughout the uh, whole day. Help you uh, do well at school if you're a kid. Throw some uh, bacon and eggs on the side of these suckers and you have a pretty darn good meal. This one isn't even. There we go. We'll add that to this. Make them pretty. Now, they're going to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And I'll show you the end product in a little bit. All right, it's been 25 minutes. They've been in the oven. Oh, here we go. We have four delicious rolls. Now, one of the things I hear is... One of the reasons people won't go low carb is because they could never give up bread. Well, right here is one of the best bread replacements I've ever had. There are other ones that I'll show you guys. Now this, with my recipe, without the, the seeds added and added extra psyllium husk powder, mine are 294 calories, 9 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, and 25 grams of fat with 9 grams of protein. Pretty much, it's pretty much the same as if you would uh, do the recipe straight from the recipe. And I really hope you try these because they're super tasty and I pretty much will eat one every morning. Thank you.